I'm leaving that one part in. Just, it, just... Thanks, game. Okay, so remember how I complained that I still had the healing fungus in my inventory, despite not, one, not, or thinking that I already used it? I'm pretty sure I already did, but maybe I forgot to save afterwards or something? But anyway, if I didn't show it, you give it to this guy in Madra. The guy who complains about stuff. I'm... 99% sure we went through this, so I'm just gonna... Is that one of his most famous mushrooms? You climb all the way to the gifts to get that mushroom for us? It's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. I'll thank you, I'll have to thank you for this. Maybe I didn't get it. What would a warrior like you want? That's a tricky one. If you remember upstairs, they had a Mars gin in a cage. As I was looking over my notes, I'm like, I should have four at this point. I don't know if you want a pet, but this is all we can offer. Take care of it. So I might have completely... For I thought we had this because I remember describing what it does, but... Anyway, the Mars Gin... Mars Ginny Char joined the party. Can't wait for dinner tonight. Batter fried mushrooms. Mmm, mmm. Sickos. There's enough mushroom that'll be eaten for days. That's great. You just enjoy that. But anyway, Char paralyzes foes with a strong bow. Oh no, maybe they wing. We didn't get it. I was thinking of Spark. Huh. Anyway, we have, we have Char now. Uh, yeah. So, um, which brings me to, first of all, uh, Prism and Hail Prism. No. Uh, yeah, put that on standby. I'm gonna take the Tamagotheracon, the uh, Tamagotchi off of, uh, off of Jenna so that she could become a Hex instead of a Dark Mage because she's going to have something that we really need right now. And that's Aura, and Healing Aura for that matter. Uh, Aura is this game's version of Wish. So she's not getting any more things that are going to mess with that. Because that's she's gonna be our healer so that Felix can actually kill things. She's also got cycle beam now, so that's cool. So I look forward to actually using her again. Um gonna hold on to the Tamagathicaron as or the Tamagotchi as I do with everything else, just because I can't throw things away. You could just buy them back, but I wanna try them from time to time just to see what new, you know, synergies we got. Speaking of that, let's see if the Mysterious Card and the, uh, the Trainer's Whip have anything new attached to them. Uh, let's see... Fire Breath! Fire Breath! So that's new. Um, I might show that off, actually. And the Trainer's Whip, we have Emu! Call a giant bird instead of a wolf, I guess. So, you know, I said I was not going to do that, but in the next two battles we get, I guess I'll show it off. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to meet you now by Yalam. I know I said I was going to meet you guys by the thing, but we're just going to go to Yalam quickly to get the um, sword, rusty sword uh, fixed. Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 1204 for another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. I realized there was like three minutes of talking before the introduction, but I said I would start the episode here, and I'm starting the episode here. In the last episode, we completed Aqua Rock, and we got the Parch Synergy. Now, we're going to explore Tundaria. Just something to note that, it, uh, just looking at the map, I noticed, uh, you can make landfall over here and go back to Garrow and Air's Rock if you really, really want to go get that one vial that you needed to use Frost for. So, yeah, have fun with that. Uh, but anyway, we're this is the only place we can park on Tundaria, so this is where we're going to park on Tundaria. Uh, if you, uh, to recap what I did at the beginning, I went back to Madra to get a Ginny that I thought I got and completely skipped over. I also went back to Yalam to uh, reforge the uh, uh, sword and the uh, teardrop thingy that we got. We got another pure circlet, which I'm not too enthusiastic about but we're gonna just stick it over there. The robber's blade, however, is kind of cool. Uh, it's better than the dragon axe, which it kind of sucks, but you know, them's the breaks. Uh, unleash a shred. I'm gonna keep that for the time being. 
Uh, this is not better for you, right? No. Just gonna put that over there. No, not equip it. Uh, but yeah, so... Unfortunately, due to some of the cooler treasures here, you're gonna be spending and losing a lot of money, but the Dragon X did help us through a dungeon, and I mean, as RPGs go, it seems like it's a short time, but you know, the turnover rate for weapons really should be like that. Anyway, if I can read the font here, Squirrel Fang is a new enemy. I have a Void Up, which means that these guys are powerful. Um, and yeah. There's our new Shred, which is kind of cool. It gets rid of defense, which is nice. It's what uh, Piers' old weapon did before I gave him his, the uh, Mist Saber. Luckily, these guys die pretty quickly. Jen is now level 23. Nice. I promised that would show off the stuff. There we go. Uh, I would show off their new synergies uh, from the uh, card and the tamer thing, so maybe we should actually, you know, do that. First of all, I think we saw Heat Juggle, which is a better version of Juggle. We saw Saber Dance, Flame Card. I think we saw Flame Card. Um, if not, I'll just use it next turn. Uh, but we're going to use Fire Breath right now, which is pretty much exactly what it is. It's like the enemy's using Fire Breath. That's a lot of damage! That's a lot of damage! Alright, uh, I guess use Flame Card and everyone else will defend, and this should kill him. Yeah, we saw this. Alright, but that's the extent of that. Um, I'll keep... Uh, where are you? Yeah, I'll keep the Tamer's Whip in mind in case we come up to a boss that's particularly weak to wind that uh, I don't want another element being used, but I don't see myself actively using most of those synergies for a while. Anyway, um, so this is going to be kind of a long trek. Uh, we haven't seen an area like this since, you know, we were in the Emil uh, Lighthouse area in the last game. So that's kind of cool. For some reason, we run into sea urchin enemies, needle eggs, uh, in the icy area. I'm not really sure why, but, you know, it is what it is. At least they're not particularly strong, but, you know, I have been fighting a lot of enemies lately, so, uh, at least, you know, we have, um, gained a couple more levels in the interim. The enemies out here do seem to be a tad weaker than, uh, those that we faced in Aqua Rock, which I'm not entirely complaining about. Uh, let's see, where is that? West, right, okay. There's uh, gonna be a Ginny on the map here, but it's way at the end of the continent. And yes, this is a continent. Just like uh, Antarctica is a continent. Uh, right, we have Cycle Beam now. Let's use Cycle Beam. Ooh, can use all these fancy synergies. Gaia shouldn't kill them, no. Stop it. Really? You're going before? Alright. Yeah. Beautiful. They do give a uh, decent amount of experience. And there's uh, Tandaria Tower, but we're gonna go over here. I believe. Let's. Probably gonna run to enemies beforehand, but let's just set our Ginny up. Okay, uh, you should be around, excuse me, down here. Ooh, she was level 23. I was wondering when all that uh, would get to us. Uh, Felix is poison. Uh, I believe it's actually up over there, so let's just, I don't think it's, I don't think it's like on this. There we go, Jupiter Ginny. You have to be in the light colored ice, I guess. <sighs> anyway, we're just gonna summon the Jesus out of him. Maybe we'll get our first meteor finally. Or he's gonna run. Nope. And none of, nobody died, yay. 
Start with Judgment. Uh, this guy has 700 and... 740 health. So he has 280 now. Up, oh, and that's gonna be it. Oh, let's just see. Meteor. Nope, that's not it. Yay! Estas in derisina verendin, estas in derisina verendin, Sephiroth! And Felix is level 24. It's weird, I thought Piers usually leveled up with him. But anyway, we finally got another Jupiter Jenny. Wheeze. <gasps> Sorry. Poison a foe as you strike. We're gonna trade Wheeze for Fog. Yeah, we still have way too many of these, but at least once we get one more Mars, we'll be able to shove them off onto someone else. Uh, Weez is actually pretty good. Uh, now... Let's... Yeah, wait till those recharge, and I'll meet you up by the tower, because we're probably gonna get into an enemy encounter on the way there. Two. Come on, give me more Jenny. Uh, let's see, do you... You don't have people back yet? Jeez, come on, game. Anyway, Tundaria Tower. This place is cool. No pun intended. Just gonna walk around a bit to... There we go. Now we can get some healing aura going. Uh, it is kind of... The problem is, it's not as good as Wish. But, it's the best we got right now. But yeah, this place is going to be fun. Also, now that we have Parch, we can actually do stuff here. Hooray! If you don't have Parch, uh, which when I first played the game, I went here before I had Parch, because I was just exploring, you just find this, which is there's something inside the cracked ice. The end. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The end. Um... I actually could have gone somewhere else first, but now I'm having too much fun here. Let's see, how much time have I wasted this episode, though? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Okay, we can we can explore the tower a little bit. I think I've only used up sixteen, give or take. Uh. uh minutes so let's explore um yeah this place isn't as no oh Ooh, we have mother guy in now let's let's try that out that'd be fun uh let's get flare wall Kaboom, baby! Yes, yeah, so I was saying, this place isn't as, uh, vast as Aqua Rock, I would say. But you are supposed to come here afterward. I mean, you need Parch, so you're meant to. But it's, um, it's one of a few... I think that was Piers leveling up. It's one of a few ancillary dungeons that doesn't, uh... That doesn't open up till you get a synergy from a rock, more like from one of the rocks. So it's interesting. Let's get this, which surprisingly is not a mimic. Oh, that was Piers leveling up. Uh, he learned Glacier, so I guess it was Sheba leveling up. But yeah, so there's just like ancillary dungeons that only open up once you have access to a certain synergy from a rock, and once uh, those open, then they lead you to the part of the MacGuffin that we're trying to go for. And again, that's going to Piers, despite the fact that I know that he has the Troll Boots, and that's all that's keeping him from achieving his dreams. Uh, let's see... No, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, we were supposed to, oops, supposed to get that mint and then go back up this way. 
Hey, new enemies! Minotaurus. Not Minotaur, Minotaurus. Maybe Minotaur is, is taken or something, but like Minotaur Taurus, you know? A, it's half half man, half bull, half bull. That hurt. Ow. Come on, we can we can totally take you guys without having to heal peers. Yeah, we got this. That's a lot of experience. Who still Jenna? Close enough. All right, let's go this way. That just leads us out over here, I think. All right, so now we're on the opposite side of this room. Good. Okay, now this is how we get to the middle. Beautiful. Okay. Second. My computer is no, it's still in silent mode. I don't know. Uh, which way do I want to? I don't know. Let's go here. All right. Hey, we get to use pound again, guys. Remember when we used pound? Didn't really pound it, we kind of smashed it, but, you know, same difference. Uh, we don't need this one to go anywhere. And here we get crystal powder! Hooray! So happy! And in here we get a hard nut. That's a little better. Boost defense, that's gonna go to Sheba because Sheba keeps dying. I thought I almost gave it to Piers for a second, but no. Back over here, I have to use Pound again. This game really just likes us using Pound, I guess, all of a sudden. And now we're back in this room and let's and I'll go down here. Ah! Oh, hey, Jenny, nice. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh... I think if we go... Aha! And yeah, we're gonna have to fight this guy. So let's get ourselves prepared. <laughs> Can't believe I got that. All right, Mars Ginny. This guy has about 756 health. And it's just the usual. Summon him into oblivion and hope that he doesn't kill Pierce. Disco Inferno. That's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt, that's gonna kill Pierre. Oh no, 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 we survived! Yes! Aha! Da -da 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 -da. That took off half his health. And this is gonna kill him. Yay! <laughs> Jen is finally ahead for once. You found the Mars Jenny Reflux, and I think that's a good point to end the episode. Counter enemies attack. Yeah, Reflux can actually be kind of cool. Uh, oh hey, nice! Now that we've gotten that, we are finally able to give everybody the Jenny that they are supposed to have. Uh, 
What do you have? Okay, cool. So now that he has six, he becomes a commander. He learns Diamondberg, which is a powered-up version of Diamond Dust, so that's really cool. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. This has been Several Tool 4 with Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. In the next episode, we are going to finish up uh, the Tundaria Tower. So yeah, look forward to that. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.